we're uh, we're heading up the Sea to Sky. We're in Squamish right now. It's middle of the summer, and uh, the Olympics have been postponed, and uh, all the contests we were we were supposed to be heading to as well. That was oh it. God. We've created a bit of a, a bubble situation where we've uh, we've brought some of the best park skaters in the country together to skate some of the best parks. We got Adam Hopkins, Andy Anderson, James Clark, Matty Bolt, and Faye Ebert. And uh, yeah, what else are we going to do? So we're skating. Okay, I want to do a half cab blunt fakie, and then eventually do half cab front blunt. There's very few skaters that I get really motivated off of skating with all the time. James is one of them. James is a product of Hastings Bowl. He grew up in that bowl. He's extremely positive and he's fun to skate with. known Adam since like 2006 maybe. He's, he's a good guy to skate with. He's like an encyclopedia. Like you ask him about tricks, he'll, he'll know like what's up with them or like where they came from. The Indy was invented after the front side air. And they nicknamed that obstacle the Black Russian because Tony Alva went to pool. He ended up quitting Indy later on and riding for Gullwing. That's why Tuckney's legit stink bugs gross. It's respectable to do snowboard tricks when you're in a mountain town. Sometimes you can't get him to shut up. <laughs> Going to the Olympics is like a really big goal of mine. This would have been the first Olympics that skateboarding was in. Um, all of us had the potential to be the first Canadian Olympic skateboarders. We have this pressure to make sure that the Olympics are, are good and not taking away like what we love about skateboarding. We created a partnership with the Canadian Sport Institute and we're using their facility up in Whistler and um, you know training for most skateboarders is a new concept but if you take a little bit of care of yourself you're going to be able to do a lot more. You look at Slug when he's 50 and he's killing it like he's so good right now and it's like there it is skate until you're in the ground you know. If you take care of your body and you keep going after it you can skate until you're dead pretty much. What's great about this experience is it's so cool to feel the benefits, to feel like, yes, after this, I'm going to be a better skater. But it's also cool to see your friends grow with you. Getting everyone together for these sessions has been so great. The camaraderie, team building, and just pushing each other and, and really progressing. I'm getting to train with uh, with some of the boys and they're pushing me to like kind of be better and I need that push sometimes. It's it's a whole different experience when you have like a crew of people that are really have the same goal and like are trying to really obtain the same level of intensity as you and it's been it's been great.
How long have you been skating for, Faye? Two and a half years. <laughs> That's nuts. So yeah, this week Faye was able to come out from Toronto. She rips, and I mean, it's it's a pleasure to watch her as well. She has just this power that she skates with and fierceness, and you can see it in her face when she goes. She's just like, whoo. Yeah, she goes like, ah, and oh. runs at the wall. It's pretty funny. It gets gets me stoked. It's like, all right, she's she's charging at this. Or you can hear it in the background there. I think that she's gonna be an inspiration for a lot of the younger girls coming up. You know, with females, it's awesome to be able to see somebody that's like doing it. And then you can be like, well, I can do that too. Or like, you know, she's inspiring me. So I'm, I'm hoping that she like keeps with it and keeps killing it. And it's gonna be a big inspiration, I think, for a lot of girls. I wanna learn Sunbath's tricks and I wanna do what they're doing. So. What Adam's doing or what all the boys are doing? What everybody's doing. I just want to do it. John, I'm good. Hey. I've been doing the van thing for like, probably like four years now. How long have you been doing the ambulance? Two or three. Two or three. Andy has like an ambulance. Who has an ambulance? Two of the Canadian skaters currently living in their vans. These guys have been pushing skateboarding their entire lives. They live for it. And uh, it's pretty exciting that they could be on every TV in the world. Oh, yeah. Talking about? What you got, Faye? What's your next trick? Like nothing? Yeah. What, like, what do you do with these? What? Like a nothing air? I'll try one. Nothing. What? That was ridiculous. I said, he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And then he's like, oh, I'll do, I'll do a nothing air. That was a nothing air. No footer. Andy Anderson. Landy Landerson. Landy Landerson never falls. Andy's like no other skater that I've really skated with. And the, how he does, like the stuff he does, it's pretty rad to see. Today we're actually going to a lake that has a like launch ramp into it and it's just outside of Whistler, BC. I've seen a lot of footage of the place and it looks insane, so nice little reward at the end of the end of the session. You just once you go, you gotta go. Give it. We could be in Tokyo right now. This whole COVID thing just it's brought us together and because otherwise I'd be in California and someone would be somewhere else. And, yeah, exactly. yeah and through this we've bonded and been able to group together in Whistler.
I think even like from skateboarding, going to the Olympics from start to finish, it was kind of chaotic. Some of the events, uh, get some time to relax, reset, uh, just get ready for it. Being at the Olympics would be pretty cool about now, but I'm really enjoying having some time to breathe. Obviously, I hope that things calm down and the world gets back to normal, but for now, again, we're just trying to make the best use of the time we have. Yeah, 2020. It's been, uh, it's been a trip. With everything going on in the world, you know, big events can wait. This delay has been a bit of a blessing in disguise. You only get one shot at making that first impression. And we'll take an extra year to prepare. And, you know, and when it's time, we can all be there together safely. We're going to be there. It's going to be the best. Skateboarding's not going anywhere.